Well, day one of the dressage here at the Military Brooklyn Skiday has just finished, and I'm joined for our second programme by Rachel Wakefield. Yeah, hi Ed. Welcome, Rachel. Yeah, welcome again. <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink. We're allowed, Rachel. Now, Rachel, we've had half of the field in the dressage. Yeah. The weather has been changeable today. To say the least, yeah. It's it's this this morning. It was just appalling. The conditions. Marie Ryan had to she got ride. Soaked. Ah, oh, I, I really felt for her. And then now we've got glorious sunshine. So we've gone from, you know, one we've spectrum had it all today, to the other. We? Yeah, yeah, we have. And Rachel, um, the top 10 is fascinating. There are so many countries at the top of Bukalo. They've flown in from America, from Australia, yeah. Japan even. He's based in Germany, but Yoshak, you were here. But just talk us through the top 10. Um, well, Zara is um, leading the field. She did such a well executed, it, it was such a fluid test and um, just showed what a class rider she is. Must have been gross the night before for a fluid <laughs> test, Rachel, I don't know. Um, but you know, her transitions were so um, smooth and it was just a lovely test to watch. Um, yeah, it, well it was impressive because they're a new partnership yeah, and fairly new. Well, they won Ball and Dennis, yeah. two in Ireland. And yeah, she's got it, it together with the horse. Really did, yeah. Yeah, and you know, she just made one tiny little mistake. Well, it was hardly a mistake, but the horse was late behind in, in the one flying change. Yeah, later. in one change, yeah. and so she could even have scored in the thirties. But so. still, she's got a lead. She's on forty point six, so yeah, nearly quite, three penalties ahead yeah, of the Australian uh, Christopher Burton. Yeah, well, funnily enough, yesterday we we uh, flagged up Zara, Chris Burton. Boyd Martin. Yeah, Emily we're feeling Parker. a little bit smug about this, aren't we? Yeah, because we, yeah, yeah, we, we predicted pretty much the top five, well, five out of the top six, basically. Yeah. Our slight surprise package was for Denmark, Peter Flarup. It's a lovely mare, Calista E, and again, he's done a super test. Yeah. Going it, third it, behind Christopher Burton. Yeah, the horse um, is what I would describe a sort of classical dressage model. Yes. So, and, and it moved beautifully, and, um, you know, it'd be interesting to see if that horse has the. The, the all three things that an event horse needs. Well, on that note, you've walked Sue Benson's cross country course. Yeah, so it's always an interesting challenge. Round. Yeah. Despite watching dressage at the same time, Rachel, yeah. You're busy. Yeah. What do yeah. you make of it? Um, well, it's quite a galloping track, um, and um, there's places that you could have a little run out. I don't think it's that technical a course. Um, I think the water early on, uh, the first water, there are three options to, to get around the course. So a lot of thinking out there, basically. Yeah. Um, As you'd expect at this three star, because well, we've seen. Yeah, I think the experienced horses will make it look easy, and the, a few of the first timers might struggle a little bit. But, because, well, we've yeah. seen Rachel here that horses that have gone well here at Brooklyn have gone on to great things. Because Mark, with Land Vision, Mark Todd, yeah. he was second at Brooklyn last year, went on to win badminton. So we know this is a real springboard. Yeah, and he's to come tomorrow in the dressage. So, you know, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of a shake up. Um, uh, on the leaderboard. And then Rachel, looking down now into fourth, the guy that's in great form, Boyd Martin, he was seventh at Burley with Neville Bardos, had yep. the awful barn fire, yep. and he did a stunning test. The horse was second out in America at Plantation, and he's lying fourth. Yeah, yeah. I unfortunately missed We're that We're walking test, the course. But yeah. <laughs> so, um, but um, you said it was a very, very nice test, and, you know, he's got such good form, and he's so experienced that you would expect that horse to be in the top ten, which it is, so it's in the right spot and we said how multinational Bukalo is with 110 starters and yeah. it's Germany that lie with Andres de Bosque in fifth he did a beautiful test with the yeah. eight-year-old yeah FRH but it's evident he's poised yeah yeah I mean he would be again very experienced um, Christopher Bartle I've seen him you know he's been key at training all, all the German yeah. riders Christopher's here and Hans Meltzer and Rudiger Schwartz the trainers and whew, yeah it's a powerhouse again yeah yeah I mean and and they're in the lead in the team competition yes they are just so. narrowly ahead of Sweden if you missed that the Grolsch Nations Cup Germany in front Sweden second and Great yeah. Britain third but it's very close as well yeah everything will change tomorrow I think there's a few people that might be slightly disappointed with the the dressage test but you know at the end of the day 
dressage is only one part of this competition. Yes. So, um, you know, it's all going to change anyway.